coming to us for his annual dental exam. So I'm just going to ask you some questions about Theodore. So how old is he? Uh, he's almost three. Okay, and what has Theodore fed? Um, he's fed Taste of the Wild, uh, three quarter cups twice a day. So dry food? Yeah, it is dry food. Okay. And does he have any other dental, previous dental problems? Uh, no, he's pretty good so far. Okay, so first we're going to determine Theodore's skull type. And he has a mesocephalic skull. We're doing this because certain breed or skull shapes are predisposed to certain disease. Um, next we're going to look for asymmetry of his face and feel for any swelling. It's especially important to feel for swellings over the fourth maxillary premolar because his tooth may abscess. Come here. Sorry. Feel. And uh, I'm going to feel for asymmetry in his face, any swellings, muscle wasting that may indicate any tumors or infection. So he looks good. So now I'm going to go back and feel his lymph nodes, make sure they're of equal size, if one, and see if there's any pain on palpation. If one's larger, that may indicate infection on that side. I'm also going to feel his salivary glands back here, make sure they're of equal size, make sure they're not painful. If one, if there's a defect in one, it may begin to atrophy and one may be larger than the other and they feel good on CEO. Good boy. So, <laughs> good boy. See, now we're going to move on to the front of his mouth again and look at his lips and make sure there's no cuts, lesions, swelling, and he looks good as well. So now we'll look at his eyes and his nose. So the eyes and the nose may, if there's infection, discharge may come out. So thick, yellow, gross discharge would not be good. Um, if there's infection in the distal, the back distal aspect or back of the mouth, uh, it may lead to his eyes becoming protruding the eye socket, which they are not. So that's good, Theodore. <laughs> Now, lastly, we're going to assess his TMJ, which is his temporal mandibular joint, and make sure that's of norm normal. So that's where the maxilla and the mandible meet. So we're going to open his jaw, make sure it opens, so that there's no limitation, make sure it's normal for his breed, make sure there's no pain or defects <laughs> in there, and he seems good. So. That's his extra oral exam outside of the mouth. So now we're going to start inside of the mouth on our initial oral exam. So we can't do a full oral exam until he, the, he's actually anesthetized. So this is why this is the initial exam. So first we're going to lift his stash up and <laughs> look at his occlusion and make sure it's normal. And we wouldn't be able to do this when he's anesthetized because there's an endotracheal tube in place, so his occlusion looks normal. If you'd like to hold him for a second, sure. I'll show you what normal occlusion looks like on a skull. So, we are going to make sure that his maxillary incisors sit rostral or in front of his lower incisors. We're going to make sure that this bottom canine, the mandibular canine, sits in a space between the maxillary, maxilla third incisor and the maxilla canine. We're going to make sure that these premolars sit in a distance between, the upper premolars sit in a distance between the lower premolars, and that the big carnasial teeth, the upper fourth premolar, sits on top and covers the lower mandibular premolar. And our skull has a bit of a TMJ issue. <laughs> um, so. Theodore's occlu occlusion looks very good and normal and healthy. Everything's sitting in normal position. So next, what we're going to move to his mucous membranes. Make sure they're moist and of normal color. Make sure that the color is evenly distributed throughout his teeth, which is normal and good. No cuts or lacerations up in there. So next we're going to move on to his gingiva, 
and we're going to make sure that there's no recession or hyperplasia. We're going to take our Q-tip and we're going to run it along the gingiva margin and make sure there's no pain there. So this is especially important in cats because result of lesions, gingiva seems to grow into the lesion and cover it up. So if there's any pain, you would notice doing this. And the video is good. There's no pain. There's not too much recession. There's no hyperplasia. So he looks good. So we just use two. And now we're going to count his teeth. So we're going to use both of these things our tongue pressure and our q tip. And I'm going to start at the top and make sure he has all his teeth. Adult dogs have 42 teeth. So we'll make sure that he has all of his. So I like to start. Three, four, so yes, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, love you. If you're missing any teeth, we would check, we would ask you if we could do any radiographs to see if the teeth actually missing or if it's just not erupted yet. So, Theodore, move your tongue teeth. Has all 42 teeth present. So, no radiographs at this point are needed for you. We're also, while I was in here, I was assessing the teeth, making sure that they're normal, that there's no fractures. Um, you can notice slight calculus on some of Theodore's teeth, and you can definitely notice some bad breath. So <laughs> we could always put you in for a prophylaxis if you like, or we could start him on a dental diet and teeth brushing. Um, next, we are going to look. We're going to open up again for me. We're going to look at his tongue, make sure that's just normal in there. We're going to look under the tongue. Oh, Can I look no. under your tongue, buddy? We're going to under his tongue. I know. Sometimes it's ranulo occurs when there's a defect in the salivary glands under his tongue, and he looks good. One more time, I promise. And we're going to look at his palate. You're so good. Make sure they're normal. Make sure there's no defects or any foreign bodies, which there isn't. Good boy. So for Theodore, I'm going to recommend you start brushing his teeth once a day. So you just put this toothbrush oh, on his finger, and there's some nice chicken toothpaste, and you <laughs> put it on, and gently massage up with his gums in a little circular motion. Um, he'll be hesitant at first, just keep doing it. Okay. Um, so I'll recommend that. And you can get his dental done if you'd like. And okay. that's it for Theodore. Awesome. Good boy.